Yeah, so, um, yeah, my project was The Murder File. Um, I this too. But I, I don't think I did anything cool like everybody else. You did. Well, like, because a lot of the time that I spent on the project, it was, like, creating the stories because they were all, like, you know, they were, they weren't, like, pre-done or anything. I, I pretty much wrote them myself, like, and they're all, like, based off of, like, similar, like, actual cases, but they're all, like, fictional cases. Well, what I really like about what you did um, and what I, I really want my class to serve people who want to do, I don't know if you're here for Justin's, who's like all his stuff is JavaScript and code. And it's like, oh, I did all, you know, I wrote all this code and you think, oh, that's great. I didn't do anything. But on the other hand, you created content, you know, I mean, and that's really good. And so I really want to make sure that I have a, a studio that people can work in who, you know, so there's like writers <laughs> and yeah. writing in the wiki is different than writing in word. Even if you yeah, don't have a fancy class. It, it's very, yeah, it's different, you know. Um, Especially trying to like figure out where you're gonna put all your tags and like what information is like prevalent to what you're talking about. So right. that was kind of the, the one part that I had a struggle with, like just tying in all the cases. So I, so far I have the three cases that I did um, mm -hmm. for up to now. So the first one we can look at so I had um, took your advice, and I um, also put in like some instruction in the in the beginning, like just um, letting you know to read the each case file and just try to pretty much figure out who you think is the killer. Mm -hmm. um, so I had um, the components here, like the compiled details of the case. So up here is just like all the information about the victim and kind of like if you were in a crime show like like how you would if you were a police officer like hear about your case <clears throat> yep. so then i have the compiled details which is like all the evidence and everything so um i use the the table of content um codes to put that in here so in this it's like um just the lists and everything of each um, topic. So you have the evidence, suspects, your crime scene, which I um, just found pictures that were similar to the um, the crime scenes. Um, sorry. <laughs> so they're like mock pictures like that I just found on the internet that I thought were pretty cool. Why does it keep going back? Sorry. <laughs> and, um, so all of this, all the evidence and everything, it's just my um, like interpretation of similar evidence that was found in the actual cases, but like added evidence as well, just to make it a little tricky. So you can, like, you know, police often get stuff that's evidence, but it's not prevalent to the case. So you, you think, oh, maybe this is important, but it's not. So I tried to throw in some 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 stuff that was just like out of out of like throw you out the way a little bit mm -hmm. um like I have like a distraught vo voicemail but the voicemail is kind of like a um like a like a trick because she was covering up <laughs> the murder <laughs> did you get to hear the voicemail oh no I that would have been smart what happens, smart when, what happens when you click on message oh it's just um it's just like saying what it was, like what the message was. Okay. So maybe that would have been smart to actually have a, a mock yeah, message. No, 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 that's fine. So one it would be interesting, did you ever did you ever discover the story view? No. So click on tools, because I think you've got this built in. And you're gonna say, Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know I built that. Click on tools, it's the next tab over. And scroll down till you get to story view. There it is, and set it to um, zoom in. Okay, now go. You click on the home button. The what button? The home, the button. home button. Yeah. Okay, and now navigate like through a little bit. Crack the case. Oh, okay. Oh, that yeah, that's kind of cool. And um, 
compiled details and um you know you go to um where was the message uh, um the voice yeah now click mitzi brown oh i don't want to see this now click that x in the upper right so it takes and keep clicking back it takes us back where we were oh okay oh that's actually crazy right so you're navigating in and out Anyway, so you might, and then when you get sort of lost, you just, you click that home button again. And if you click the little pet, the little tick box to the left of home, it'll come out and then you yeah, click it again, keep it clicked. Now you've got a home button in the toolbar up above. Oh, okay, I see it. So whenever you want, you can go back home. And I think if, and now you can click like friends and so here you're, so this is another way to see it. You're sort of zooming in and out, right? That's why it's yeah. called zooming. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, right? I just thought you might like that. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty neat. I didn't know. <laughs> um, and then the last part of each case, like after you read all the evidence, you can um, solve the crime. Mm -hmm. um, however, I did this, but for some reason, I, I actually took this from someone else's, uh -huh. um, someone else's sheet I but i just couldn't it wouldn't work i did put it in the group and uh somebody gave me the code but it was the same one that i had and it just the button doesn't work so like the drop down what, list works so let's see what okay so let's do jessica did it yeah okay the select tiddler da, 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 da. new tiddler dash chance thompson's killer you see that apostrophe s i'm so sorry Mm hmm the apostrophe s take that that's what's screwing you up chance oh. tensions take that apostrophe s out and select tiddler equals where it, this. It's on the second line after chance thompson's killer select tiddler equals okay and, oh, and this would be no nope, uh, up higher that line right there click in there the posture here. Right, take that out and then put it after the word killer. Okay, now copy that tiddler name from the dot, everything in between the quotes. Keep going. This whole thing? Nope, nope, just the name of the tiddler between the two single quotes, starting with the dollar sign. Sorry. There's another apostrophe S on the bottom. Yep, I know. We're going to okay. fix that. Yep, and copy that. Okay, so that's the name of the tiddler that you're writing. Now go down to the button where you navigate to. So you have to navigate to and inside the curly braces. Yep, just get rid of that. You can get rid of, okay, you can just get rid of that apostrophe and put the one after killer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now go up and click make an arrest. Wait, no, there. It looks like there's an extra E in chance on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank You're welcome. You. Now click make an arrest. Now select a killer now. I think I have to change the title of the tip via. via oh, um, yeah. You're right. Exactly. Right. That's why you had, that's why I had you paste it. So paste in the search box. Or no, you have to change the name of the tiddler, dollar sign, colon, slash, and you'll find it. It's probably on recent, yeah. There you go. Let's take the apostrophe out of the, no, no, you, you were right, you click the X. This? Yeah. And so hit okay and um, edit it again and take the apostrophe out. I think that might do it. I didn't know they had it set up quite that way, but we'll see. It's not working. I think it's still in draft mode for the one we just edited. 
Oh, uh, click on the open menu. Yeah, it's all the way down. It's yeah, down, all the way there. That draft, save that. Um, so you're not. So can I see your code again? Um, select Tiddler equals dollar sign colon slash new Tiddler Chance Thompson's killer. This filter equals tag Chance Thompson's. Okay, so you see, so you're looking for tiddlers that are tagged with Chance Thompson's killer, okay? Oh, so the tags. Yeah, so go to the tiddler called Chance Thompson's killer now, which you, yeah. Yeah. And now do a, instead of do a, do a down arrow, that one and a new here and call it Sean did it. Don't tag it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Sean did it. Well, couldn't I just change the tags on the other one? Wouldn't that just. It's not in the, the, the I don't think so. It already, oh, you already have that tiddler. Yeah, because I originally had it with the other ones. That's why I was saying, like, wouldn't it just be easier to change yeah, these yep, tags right. on I see. Yes, I see. Yeah, I'm sorry you had them. Of course you had them, right? Sorry. Never look. Yeah. I think in the code you had apostrophe after killer, right? After the R? No, that was closing the. Oh, was, okay. Yeah. And yeah. And for the um. For the killers, I had like um, put uh, stories in here for each killer, like, you know, the background of like, oh, sorry, you're wrong, or, but it never saved. Um, like, I don't know what happened. Like, there was like a whole bunch of different um, things that were in there and it just didn't work. I don't know. So it's still not working. You're still in draft mode? <laughs> that shouldn't matter. Actually, he's right about the apostrophe. I think um, there's only one apostrophe on the end of Keller. Yeah. So take the apostrophe out? No, you're right. That, the, you've got to kill. You're right. No, keep put, that one stays there. And the one that's inside to the left of the curly braces has to go. Oh. That one has to go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, thanks. Yeah. Sorry. Well, yeah. Three people figuring it out. So you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then so um. But you said there was some other stuff that you lost or something. Yeah. Um. I had background stories to like when you pick the killer. Um. Yeah. So go oh. to control panel. And um, saving, and um, maybe it's on info. Um, no, anybody know where it is? Settings, maybe. It's one of these tabs. Um, no, I think it's saving. List your backup. Try general. Tiddly spot saver. There it is. Click that backups link. This right here. And those are all the copies that you, we have of your wiki. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, now, it's, then, now it's just <laughs> trying to figure out which one is which. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of guess this based on which day you think you had it. So you don't have to look at every single one from the 1st of April, but you just kind of go back. And when you find it, you can drag the tiddlers that you need into it and they'll be back. Okay. So yeah, so it does save every save. <laughs> um, yeah. So great. That's that's um. That's a lot of fun, and it's great to see all the writing. And um, so, could you do you have did you have a picture of this before you made it? No, I didn't. I just you know thought it out. Mm -hmm. And do you have a picture in your mind now? Do you think or? Like of how it, how it should look. Well, of how the things, how the tiddlers connect to each other. How many tiddlers do you think there are in the case? Um, gotta be, I don't know. Like, uh, I know, I know you don't know. Just a guess. <laughs> like maybe fifty, like over fifty. Okay. Um. That's a lot. That's kind of like a lot of pieces of a story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what do you think about writing this way? What, how would you how would you compare writing this way to like how you might have done this? How how would you how do you think you might have done this on on paper? Um, well, it, I actually started it on pa well not on paper but like on Word, mm -hmm. um, and it kind of like just developed into a copy paste kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but right. it was a it was a lot easier to do it you know, on, in Word, then when I actually tried to do it, like, in TiddlyWiki itself. Why was that? <laughs> um, just because I wasn't sure how each, each Tiddly would tie into the next. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I had, like, for instance, the, the suspects, um, I just, you know, I would have to figure out how, how to incorporate the suspects with their with the with the murder like how how do i tie them into knowing the victim and how they would um interact with the detectives and things of that nature mm -hmm. and the same with the witnesses because you know i had to um try to figure out you know how to put them in the story without making them into a suspect themselves if they weren't a suspect. I, um, so, but what I'm curious about is, is what were the, um, do you remember in 507, did you take 507 yet? No, this is my first semester. Oh, okay, wow, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, in 507, I don't know, maybe whoever else took it remembers, we use the word affordances a lot, and that's one of the key theories that we use in 507 about the affordances of technology, which describes the kinds of features or characteristics of a technology that enable you to do things. So one of the affordances of TiddlyWiki is that it makes linking easy. Um, so I was curious is about what you might describe as the affordances or the way that word works that made it easier for you to visualize or conceptualize your story and what it is about word that worked for you that TiddlyWiki must lack? I think it was just um, when you have your, when you have the, um, the Tiddlies, you know, you're, you have to think about the connections as like, <laughs> Versus the word, you can write whatever you want and then, you know, fix it later. Like, I yeah. felt like I was forced to have a connection before I had the idea. So, okay, okay. Do you have your Word document handy by any chance? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's on my other laptop. Okay. So, just as a thought, I wonder what would have happened if you had opened a tiddler and just typed your whole story in one tiddler, like a Word document. Yeah, I, then, I feel like it would have probably been a little difficult, but at least that way, you know, you, you do have the, the transcluding that helps that. Yeah, okay, no, because we did, I think we did that in one of the early ones, like the dog story, if you remember, 
where I had this long story, like four, four or five paragraphs that I put in a tiddler. And then I went, we went back later, like 20 minutes later, whatever, half an hour later. And we, we put square brackets around the names of the dogs or the names of the murder suspects, you know, so we made tiddlers from our text. Um, yeah. But that, and that's just, yeah, I'm just curious about that. Cause I, I love, but, and that's fine. Um, you know, like word has, word is great for certain things. And I, it's, I, so I love to understand and kind of probe at the interface that, that people develop between word and tiddly wiki, just like with Marvin's, we probed at the interface between Excel spreadsheets and tiddly wiki, you know, and talked about how you take a, Excel spreadsheet and visually represented in TiddlyWiki, and here you took a Word document and kind of transformed it into TiddlyWiki, which is interesting. That's yeah. fascinating. So yeah, well, thank you. So that was um, lots of fun, and um, yeah, so great. Thanks. Thank you, and thanks everybody for helping with the button. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep going. So I think that's our last one tonight. So thank you. All.